Hello my crafty friends. Card number seven in my full deck challenge is going to be another one that's quick and easy. I'm going to use this beautiful napkin with this beautiful yellow flower as the background. Because I like wording to shine through, I'm going to stick a couple of strips of this book text on the card first and then the napkin will go over and this will shine through which will give it a lovely effect. I've stuck the text paper down with a glue stick and I'm applying Mod Podge over the entire card, including the text. I'm then going to stick the napkin over this. I have separated the layers of the napkin, so I'm only using the top layer, which is really thin and becomes transparent, so you can see the underneath layers shining through. I'm going to edge the card with some Distress Ink. I'm using the color Vintage Photo for this one. This is just to finish it off and not make it quite so new looking. I want it to look a little bit vintagey. And then I'm going to finish the background with one more layer of Mod Podge to seal everything and to protect the napkin. Once the final layer is dry, I'm going to add a little pocket. I'm going to use white vellum for the pocket and I'm not going to cut it straight. I'm just going to rip a strip that's going to be the pocket and then I'm going to machine stitch all the way around with some black stitching. I have left some areas with some bunched up thread. I like that rough look as if it's been caught in the machine. I'm then going to trim it and cut off all the strings. You can leave the strings long if you like them hanging off, but for this one I've decided to trim everything short so there's no strings hanging. You can now add anything in this little pocket, any kind of ephemera you have. I have a little white ready-made tag that I'm adding and then I'm going to find something else. I want some kind of wording. I have this case, a craft 12 inch by 12 inch paper. It's called Treasured Moments Collection. And the one side is just covered with dictionary explanations of words that, that you'd use in your crafting. I'm going to use the word keepsake and I'm just going to cut this out. I use this paper quite often and I use these words quite often. They're really handy. So I've trimmed it and I pop it in to my little pocket. I punch a hole so I can add this to my collection and this card is done too. I hope you enjoyed this video. This card is a great way to make little extra pockets and ephemera holders for your junk journals especially or for any craft project really. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration to create your own. I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so you can get notification when I upload new content. I'll see you again soon. Bye.